all right guys welcome to my channel it's your girl ttb's beauty today guys i will be showing us just how to um prepare um a skincare product right from your kitchen to give you that spotless skin you desire the first ingredients i'm using for this product today is turmeric powder turmeric powder has antifungal antibacterial and antibiotic um effects on your skin so when you use it in your skin or on your skin or you take it in drinks into your body be sure to get rid of every irritation in your system so using this scrub it's like a, a medicinal herb to help clean your skin of any problem that is about to rise from your skincare products so i will be using turmeric powder the next ingredient guys i'm using is unrefined honey this is organic honey unrefined honey guys honey is also a very very good um skin healing agent gives you that anti-aging effect just like turmeric turmeric gives you that lightening effect gives you the anti-aging effect so honey also does similar work to turmeric powder honey is very very good for um, new tissue regeneration dead cells exfoliation so guys please go ahead read up more about honey but honey is very very good for your skin it's gonna lighten your skin you know give you that glow you desire so the next ingredient i'm using here guys is fermented rice water this fermented rice water you see here guys was made two months ago and i have that that was that that was made six months ago depending on what i want to use them for so in this recipe guys i'm using this very one for this recipe you know to get your kojic acid um, um to get a, a, a kojic acid without getting the powder or the refined acid itself you can get it from rice fermented rice water so if your if your rice water is not fermented you are not getting the ingredients yet so guys i'm using this as a lightening agent to help wipe away whatever spots that may be present on your skin or on your body generally so guys another thing i'm using here is lime juice lime juice is known for lightening you know evening out your dark spots giving your skin an even tone fighting black patches if you don't have lemon uh, lime juice you can use lemon juice the next thing i'm using here guys is aloe vera gel aloe vera gel helps to heal your skin prevents your skin from developing whatever kind of irritation helps in anti helps in um, um aging is an anti-aging agent aloe vera gel also helps to give you repair of worn out tissues helps to take care of your dead cells helps to reduce your fine lines also helps to lighten your skin Another thing aloe vera gel does is that it suits your skin from bones. So I'm using it in this scrub. So the next ingredient I'm using here is black seed oil. This particular black seed oil is a new product I got. I've been using the one from Harman and I decided to use this very one. Guys, black seed oil does everything the other ingredients here I mentioned do. The cleaning of your skin, anti-aging properties, you know, tightening of your of your um, tissues to prevent worn out and sagging. The only thing we know black seed oil not to do is that it cannot heal death. But for every other thing, depending on how to use it, black seed oil is very good. So in this recipe, black seed will prevent black seed oil will prevent your skin from sagging. It will prevent your skin from aging faster it will prevent your um, skin from developing fine lines it is also going to serve as a defense against skin breakouts or irritation so the next ingredient i'm using here is cinnamon powder cinnamon powder here will help to clean your skin give you that clean and um, clear look on your skin it prevents the onset of breakouts, irritation on the skin. And I'm also using it to create an abrasive effect because I'm making a scrub here. 
So the next thing I'm using here is your cooking salt. The normal salt, you know, you know very well that salt cleans your skin. If you add salt to your bathing water, it cleans your skin very fast. So I'm using it as a cleaning agent and also as an abrasive agent in this recipe, guys. So let's start right away. So guys, in this production, I will be taking a tablespoon of turmeric powder. This is a tablespoon of turmeric powder. I'm going to add uh, salt to it. This is a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of uh, cinnamon powder. So I'm going to mix the three together. You have to mix them together first. If you don't mix together before adding the solvent, you will end up having lumps and you won't have a proper mix. So, the next thing I'm adding here is aloe vera gel. So, I'm adding a teaspoon of aloe vera gel. I don't want to add too much so it will make my mixture watery so i'm adding a teaspoon of aloe vera gel so the next one i'm adding here is black seed oil and i'm adding a teaspoon as well of black seed oil The next ingredient I'm adding here, guys, is honey. I will be adding a tablespoon of honey. Because I really need that spotless and clear look on the skin. So at this stage, guys, we mix together. So right now we add lime juice. I will be adding a teaspoon of lime juice to this. You must try to get the quantity of the liquid you are adding to your powder, powders properly. This is so that you don't make the powders extremely watery. So we had a tablespoon of fermented rice water and that's it guys so right now we mix everything together so the next thing you do guys with this scrub this is the um, products to give you that spotless look you desire that spotless um, skin you want that soft clean clear skin you want if you use this product three times a week i bet you guys no spots before a spot comes upon your skin guys you must first have either pimple or a boil so in breast of clearing that pimple or boil you will leave behind a scar that scar is what is called black spots so if you have this product on your skin regularly, three times a week, guys, you are not going to have that black spots or um, white patches and the rest. White patches as a result of, is as a result of excessive dry. So guys, the next thing to do here is to pour this mixture in an airtight container so this is the container i'm using so i'm going to transfer it here you have to put it in an airtight container and cover so that number one it can ferment more number two it can become soft enough for your skin and all the ingredients can as well mix together so cover it for 24 hours 
you can use this product guys for your skin it's also safe for your kids if at all you need to scrub their skin so this is our scrub guys so i'm going to keep this and this is for ttb's beauty skin thank you so much guys